All right. I'm going to cover two more examples. One of them is from the P5 speech library, and I just modify them to make it easier to read. So this is a code called up, down, left, right, which is I'm going to give you the link in the syllabus. Let's run it and then see how it works. Down, left, up, right, clear. So to keep the video short, I'm not going to cover it line by line, but I will ex I will point to um, other videos that way you can learn more in depth. A key concept worth explaining is that the line we see moving is really just a dot moving over time. And what we are changing with our voice is simply direction of movement. Let's take a look at the beginning of the code. You can see that we call the library, just P5 speech library, and put into wearable. After that, every time we call that wearable, we can take advantage of the library features. Here, we are setting the library to listening at continuously or all the time until our voice hearing and as it is hearing the way it tell us is by running the function show result here. And let's actually scroll down and take a look at what inside the show result here. First, we grab what the library heard and place it inside a variable called direction. And then we compare the direction to the list of possible, possible direction if there is a match then change the direction of the movement of the point so that's it I'm going to cover another example which is basically this is the same setup this code um, I name it drawing with voice which is same thing I'm gonna give you the link and you can duplicate and work out from that I'm gonna show you how it works Triangle, square, 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 line, 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 square, rectangle, circle, circle, circle. Let's look at the code. So this is basically the same setup with the previous code. And you can see that we just set up um, calling the library, the speech speech library and then we set up to be always hear it and then every time you hear it you call the library to act to do the feature of that library and instead of just moving the graphic to the right uh, to the different direction this one we just drawing so when it when the word match um the shape that we code then it show up like triangle circle um, square and this I just set up to be random um, position so you can play with adjust um, or the visual or design what you want it to be or be playful with all the function in the P5 library you can duplicate uh, these examples and start from from what we learn and manipulate and try to change the code or you can use this code to apply to what you already have let's say for example you have um, a sculpture and then you want to add the sound or you have a bank a blank screen and then you want to create a interactive graphic by using voice and this could be something that you can play with thank you so much for watching um, before I leave I would like to also leave you a couple questions and you can think about it and then we can bring this um, discussion back into the office hours together one of them is how do you think voice the first will change our experience in the future will this replace the switch will this be helpful for everyone or Still, we need a tangible 
or would that be helpful to have both of them like tangible interface and voice interface uh, something that you can keep thinking about it and and then another question is how do you think the voice accent genders way of speaking could affect the way you relate to voice interface does it have to be always men voice does it have to be female voice would that be possible to include all the accent accents in the wall and the machines to be able to understand and even you have a different way or slang will the machine still understand um, yeah let's come back and talk about it together I'm excited to hear what you are going to do and what do you think about it I'll see you soon thank you so much